my name is okay. Codex. This is yeah. <laughs> this is amped up day one of Kickflips, man. It's been a crazy day already. Had a few ducks. Don't do that shit, man. Support the movement and do good shit. Yeah, Tolls. Like what he said. Shout out to the sponsors, Oz Hip Hop Shop, VC Clothing. You ready for a battle? Yeah. Say no more, man. Let's go. All right, battle on my left. Ah, uh, my right, bro. Introduce yourself, man. Down and scan on. Jimmy Skating Street and big up my bro Maddie O Murder on the run. Let's do it. Yeah. 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 And on my left, Harry Baker. <laughs> We've done the flip. Harry's gonna go first. It's whenever you're ready, man. Let's go. All right. Before I begin, there's something I must say to you. I don't care if you've never listened or rated her. On behalf of everyone that isn't Australia, here's a big fuck you for Iggy Azalea. How's it going, Melbourne? Figured I had to get a battle in. Chris hit me up to see who I wanted to match against. 360 said he's busy, so I had to circle back again, and for some reason, man is ill, couldn't see it happening. <laughs> He said the problem with Cursor is he might bring his click and drag him in. I would have been on purpose, but instead I got this accident. Already seen vs nicotine, you didn't have a patch on him. So when he said Dundee, I thought I reckon I could handle it. Because <laughs> you're an Australian battler who goes by the name of Dundee. If I'd known that was a thing, I would have called myself Cup of Tea. <laughs> But Chris still bigged them up like he's one of the best in Australia. So that's pretty fucking deep on the rest of Australia. <laughs> <laughs> you call yourself Dundee like Crocodile. He's cute, isn't he? Either that or Dundee like the Scottish town that rapidly expanded in the 19th century due to its jute industry. <laughs> Either way, at least he's done Dundee creatively. He's not just gone for Dundee, he's made it done, then space Dundee. <laughs> Because everyone knows in the rap game that it's impressive if you spell out your rap name like you're a bit dyslexic. <laughs> so when I saw the shoddiness that dun dun dun, it got me feeling ominous like dun dun dun. <laughs> I heard that dun stands for dunno. <laughs> Call that from dunno's teachers. And the D in Dundee stands for dunno either. <laughs> That's why in school you never had to ask where Dunn's at Cause chances are in the corner they'd be done sat with a dunce sat. <laughs> so now you gotta sit through his shit But hang around for laughs Cause at the start of my second I got a fact about giraffes <laughs> What's your mouth bun? since I was in this city rapping and a lot's changed since the last time I flew into battle a lot of things have happened from don't flop with Mick and Barry to amped up with Chris and Harry from city scabbing and ticking baggies to paying bills and living lavish from <laughs> tripping on acid hits in Tassie to having kids and getting married from sniffing rack and flipping zannies to pushing prams and changing shitty nappies yeah! Grown up, I settled down because I just settled in. I might have lost yeah. a bit of weight. Trust me, I'm more hungry than I've ever been. <laughs> so, all that codex, like, let's get it in. I want an international veteran. And you give me this fucking freak English sea biscuit, far up looking gentleman. <laughs> if, I, if, I, if I came to get the show jumping, you know I'm playing sets again. If he came to get the show jumping, he's talking about equestrian. If they're. <laughs> If they're telling me to break a leg, they're hoping that I'll get a win. But you got a horse head, so if you break a leg, they'll notify you next to kin. Yeah. I do not give a fuck if you went to the World Poetry Slam and the lad was chosen winner. I do not give a fuck if you some bloody champion poet kid up. You still got the freaking head of Mr. Ed. Somebody hand the bloke a mirror. Of course, of course this horseman got poems in a man from Snowy River. <laughs> Yeah. 
they tell me he's staunch with the poetry, thinks his words are weapons. <laughs> but in reality, uh, that ain't quite true. Look, I can't say that I knew of uh, any time I've been at the pub having a quiet pint or two of nice booze, see some nerdy hipster looking cut out the corner of my eye who's staring me down and acting the right douche. So I cruise outside to try and move time moves and I'm about to fight soon, but get grabbed on the shoulder by one of the boys in my crew like Dunners don't do it, man. Think your daughter and your wife do. I want to see you get hurt, bro. What if the cunt drops a haiku? <laughs> the amped up staff have been smoking. We all need to get the fuck out because they told me I got hairy biker. So I rocked up this morning at the Rebels Clubhouse. He wasn't there. Wouldn't take no 1% of backup for me to kill Harry's character. I'll put Harry Biker in a box like the Mill Pair of Massacre. Let's go. That's the fucking phone. To tell her she's ready to meet a male giraffe, headbutts a female giraffe in the bladder until she pisses, then has to taste the urine to detect if the correct hormones are in it. Now if you wonder what the analogy is for how I rap better, it's not even that clever. I just wanted to share one of my favourite facts ever. <laughs> What have you brung me, Dundee? My style's off the wall and cracks them up like Humpty Dumpty. Yeah. I'm proud to be one of the first to represent out here, other than Sprungy. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I bloody love your country. Vegemite, yummy. <laughs> Hanging out in Melbourne, really dig the brunch scene. Compared to London streets, the air's not even unclean. Got a couple fun beaches. Locals want to spread a factor 30 like sun cream. So why, the bloody heck, are you so grumpy? <laughs> you got the swag of as a child, nobody told me that they love me. <laughs> but I'm chill, bro. Adopting that Aussie way of life, dude. Tried to catch some rays and my skin's turned in a nice hue. But with your harsh, abrasive tomato face and questionable IQ, <laughs> you seem a little more like a Brit abroad than I do. <laughs> The truth is, as a full-time poet, I've been balling for months. <laughs> but after every gig set some aside and hoarded my funds one week later, when I finally stored up enough, I bought a plane ticket to Melbourne in the sun. Now I didn't do this because I thought it was fun or because I secretly love all of that touristy stuff. I literally flew for days and crossed borders to come, all just so I could hear you call me a cunt. <laughs> Because in England, in your day to day, you don't want to be a cunt. <laughs> in Australia, with your mates you say, go get me a beer, cunt. <laughs> yeah! I mean, back home if you get called a cunt, it's hurtful and vehement. Here if you get called a cunt, it's a time of endearment. <laughs> yeah! That's why when I first watched your battle blog, I was genuinely terrified. <laughs> Every word you said filled me with a pit of dread inside. I thought it was a bad thing that you called me a cunt 20 times. <laughs> but then I realised that he just wants to be a friend of mine. <laughs> so thank you, <laughs> you cunt. <laughs> I want to make a bet with you, Harry. <coughs> I bet you 20 bucks that you can't say cocksucker sucking a popsicle without sounding like a cocksucker sucking a popsicle. <laughs> uh, it, ain't, it, ain't, it ain't your fault, Harry. It's your mouth that presents an obstacle. But on the upside, like, if someone says you won this by the skin of your teeth, then it's no contest because those chompers are so monstrous they deserve a separate intro to shout out their own sponsors. <laughs> your fucking face cunt. <laughs> Seriously. You got a nose as big as a jet plane's with pearly white so big I don't know how the fuck they fit in your head frame. So I'd be doing you a favour if I knocked a few out and put a fist through your dense face and leave big grills fucked out like a knot on a piss with me best mate. <laughs> Ooh, 
It ain't your fault you got a face that says, punch me on principle. <laughs> so I guess today you receive a pardon. Plus I can't front on all the new fans you bought into the culture while you're reaching stardom. I can't front on the following that he has crafted. He tapped into the most niche of markets. Who would have known there was a new demographic and we need a target of lesbian, hipster, vegan artists? <laughs> well, I, ain't, I ain't saying you're a hipster, bro. But I bet your favourite music genre is post-modern Egyptian folk. <laughs> And you go up shopping for vintage clothes and have a tattoo of a Courtney Barnett Twitter quote and would fit in perfectly on Sydney Road. <laughs> I ain't saying you're a hipster bro, but you probably think that one of Radiohead's songs should be your new national anthem. If y'all don't serve decaf soy lattes, you'll start having a tantrum. <laughs> Yet you drop gun bars. Right. But if you're acting like a gangster is mad dumb, no one wants to hear a word about you clapping him damn guns. He hang out with Quill and Cracker, hitting on slappers at random. The only strap you ever see was on the back of a man butt. <laughs> you, you bloody jam jar finger and muppet. <laughs> What's your life like, fuckwit? What you know about the dangers that we facing on a daily in this country? What you know about them real life situations we grew up with? What you know about fighting to the death with drop bears and bunions? <laughs> what, you know, what you know about going for a swim on the sunniest day? Now, when there could be a white pointer lurking under the waves, but Mick Savage, ask Mick Fannin, I'll start one up in O'Shea. Fuck taking a shit on a shark, I'll just punch the cunt in the face. Yeah. Right, you thought I'd underestimate him and I'd sleep on his prick? Bro, I got a six month old daughter. I ain't sleeping for shit. <laughs> but don't think as I got a fucked up sleep pattern that I couldn't leave his dream shadow, watch him go up in smoke like Cheech Marin when I throw knee slappers at the Oxford debating team captain plus. <laughs> the only reason you want it with me, Harry, was because we got a similar style when we battle. I mean, you drop gun bars when he's rapping, so it seems out we both claiming that fake chopper like Heath Franklin. Let's go. Oh, yeah. We're gonna fucking battle, man. This is tight. Round three, let's go. Alright, you wanna talk about fucking bunyips and drop bears? I'd go to one of your gigs if I was afraid of things that were not there. <laughs> <laughs> fucking yeah, vegan hipster lesbian fans, I've got them whatever they've got, not hair, but taking this battle with you, I fucking knew my ratings would drop bear. <laughs> <laughs> they said Harry! Why are you taking an Australian battle? I said mainly to practice my Australian accent. And for all of your locals, you might think it's the shittest. But honestly, it sounds kind of alright if you're British. And for any Americans that are watching right now, well, it doesn't really matter because they can't tell the difference. But if you thought I'd resort to cheap jokes, to try and sound Australian. <laughs> I swear on my life I won't. Sure as my name's Harry Bogan. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly though, most of what I know of Oz is grown from one episode of The Simpsons. <laughs> but so far quite a lot of what I've shown has not been totally different. <laughs> so I could go for your past battles and use some quotes or Talk about your mediocre music, bro, or call you racist and say I never stoop that low, but it's more fun for everyone if I just do a load of stupid jokes. <laughs> so I don't wanna be unoriginal. <laughs> but got some animal bars to pass the time. It can go really badly. <laughs> but luckily I'm qualified. <laughs> And if it didn't go to plan, <laughs> and they won bat an eyelid, <laughs> well I don't give a flying fox, <laughs> you couldn't have done it better than I did. <laughs> because you had a disagreement with New Zealand about who invented Pavlova. <laughs> now when I heard that news I thought, Fucking hell, I'm glad that one's over. <laughs> I mean, do you guys even do meringue? Over there, they're like, woo, meringue. In Australia, I thought you guys would boo meringue. <laughs> if you're thinking boo meringue, what's all that chat about Baker? That's just a throwaway that will come back around later. <laughs> 
So you can claim that I'm not gangster, while well, you represent the hood ends. But this ain't home and away, bruv. We both know our lifestyles could blend. Oh. So, oh. When this battle's over, that's when the animosity should end. Cause that's when good neighbors. <laughs> My first and second verse, fire. <laughs> that should have burned down buildings. So, fuck Harry. It's time for some of that done as third round realness. <laughs> now, when I dropped that video about 60, we seen some fucking heads roll. Even our own friend saying I took it too far, they'd had enough of threats, y'all. It was all forgotten once Six dropped his track about the struggle involved with the serious addiction he had to Vicks Vapor Drops and Butter Menthol. <laughs> Call the cunt out because the boy bit my catch line. Well, I'll take my hat off the six. You living that clean life, devoid of a crack pipe. Yeah. What the hell am I saying? Fuck that toy and his whack lies, talking clean living when every morning he shoots roids in his backside. Oh. And now, oh. now I hear these Woo. top tier cats saying I take battle rap too serious since I started punking 60, but <laughs> what's the Aussie top tier really about? Well, ain't nothing vicious, just a bunch of bitches always got the same lame excuse for why they duck and shit and acting like some bloody women. <laughs> and that's because it's just a hobby to them. That's all it is. It's just another interest while this is the thing that saved me from being another glum statistic. Because if I wasn't doing this, Shit, I'll still be knee deep in drug addiction, puffing pipper in the club and slinging a hundred pingers just so I can pay my rent and not go hungry with it. Running into dealers' houses with the bats and knuckles swinging, telling them hand over the drugs and money, dick, and you can't to finish. Now, instead of having my mother tripping, worried sick, and because of the way her son was living, she proud of me in the life that I lead, because I made something with it. Instead of being six foot deep and locked up in prison, a homeowner with a beautiful daughter and a lovely missus. So they can say I take battle rap too serious, but they don't know how I struggle in because they live for this shit. Yeah. Right. yeah. I don't know how I struggled in it because they live for this shit. Well, I'd probably be dead without it. That's the fucking difference. Uh, yeah. 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 These, these are the same cunts who think because I changed my ways, I wouldn't leave their noses shattered. The same cunts who take shots from afar and think I want to see the smoke and barrel. The same cunts who brush me off as just another out the bogan rapper that only drops mum jokes in battles and calls my opponents faggots, but would end up with broken ankles if they walked a mile in my shoes on the roads I travelled. And that's, that's something that must be said. I ain't get enough respect. Plus I ain't seen one of these battle cats fit to judge me yet. Yeah. 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 Not bad, Harry. <laughs> I ain't forget that you're here, bruv. But you know the fucking drill, go and get me a beer cup. Yeah. Thank you fucking guys. Thank you for the fucking time.